Hey guys, Demetrius here and welcome back to my channel. And this is another episode for how to build a smart home with Apple HomeKit. And this week's episode is going to be a short one. I'm just going to explain the benefits of geofencing. Since I installed the light switch from last episode, I no longer really touch a light switch other than the bathroom. Like that's it. I leave my house and I know my lights turn off. And the minute I come home, my lights turn on. So it's just a very, it's just a convenience factor. So what I'm gonna do is I have my trusty Sharpie pen and some paper, and I'm gonna just draw the explanation because I think visual cues are a lot easier to understand. That's how I learn, and I know some people benefit from that too. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so how does geofencing work? So I drew a little picture here, essentially, this is your house and you, and you have all your smart home connected and everything working. So obviously you have your, your modem router, your Apple TV, it's all connected as I've shown you in my previous episodes and all your lights are as well. So when you leave your house, there is a radius of about 100 to 200 meters and you've taken your phone now. So you don't need to bother with turning off every single light switch in your home. All you do is you just leave. And because everything is connected from HomeKit with your automation, your iPhone's giving off a GPS signal, which sends that to the internet. And in turn, that's sending a message all the way back to your router and then to your Apple TV saying, oh, this iPhone is no longer in the house and it's past this distance. Then from your automations, you've told HomeKit to say, okay, if the iPhone's not here, no one's home, turn the lights off. And vice versa, as you're coming home, your phone is obviously giving off a GPS signal. The minute you come into this radius of 100 to 200 meters, it sends the signal to the internet that goes to your modem router, to your Apple TV saying, oh, this iPhone is now within range of home and it looks like you're coming home. As you're coming home, it sends a signal and it says, okay, this person's coming home turn the lights on. And obviously this is not limited to lights, it's to any device that you have connected, whether it's the kettle or coffee machine, whatever it may be, plugs for your bedroom, lamps, whatever they are. Uh, it will turn everything on or automate it. You set everything within Home App, which I'm gonna show you as well. But that's essentially it. So every time I've left home, I don't need to touch my light. So I'm saving so much time. And vice versa, as I'm coming home, I don't have to walk around the house turning all the lights on. I just come home, put my shopping on the counter for instance and just get on with it. I'm not wasting my time. So even though it's maybe in those few extra seconds, I can save X amount of time every single day turning lights on and off, then yeah, this works for me and it's very useful. And I'll show you now how this works in HomeKit. Okay, so we have switched over to the Home app on my iPad here. And this is the, the main screen. If we click on automations, you can see here, if I scroll down, the last three, I have uh, my automations with the geofencing. So whenever anyone arrives home during the evening or during the day, it sets my lights accordingly. And then the last one here is when anyone leaves home, it just sets the scene to leave home. And essentially, if I go back to the home here, if I click on my home scene here, hold it down, these are all the accessories that I have when I'm home. So this scene is activated when I arrive home. And likewise, the scene I have for leave home, if I hold that down, it just basically has everything off. So when I do leave home, all these lights are turned off. That's how I've set it. So if I go back to automations and I click on the leave home one, you can see here, when anyone leaves home, set the scene, leave home. It's as simple as that. Uh, and I'll show you how you can create that really easily. If you click the plus sign on the top right, click add automation, it gives you these options and then select the one you wish. So you can have a certain time of the day you want or a certain accessory. Uh, let's just say when anyone leaves home, so the second one down. And then obviously where it says action, you can have this set so it doesn't, you can have more than one user if you have everyone connected to HomeKit. You can have it set where the last person leaves home then take action because otherwise it's gonna be crazy for everyone. But as I'm the only user, this is only gonna see, uh, this is only gonna be just me. So when anyone leaves home, uh, doesn't this grayed out at the moment. So again, location is home and time of day. If I click on that, you can do at, during the day or at night or specific times, for instance. So if you click at the eye, you can even set it to sunrise or sunset 
or times before that. Uh, let's just say during the day for now, and I'm gonna click next. And then it just asks you which scene. So if you have your scene set up to leave home, I'll just scroll down. You can just click on that and then it will activate that scene. Or if you want specific accessories, like I said, you can add more than one. I can collect, for instance, uh, let's just click uh, the, the lamp as well. So you can have more than one thing selected to take action when you leave home. So I click next, and then it's just giving you a confirmation of what you're setting. So obviously here you can turn on or off your accessories or choose as you wish. Uh, uh, and that's essentially it. And you can do a test here and it will just function everything. You click done. And then you can see here it's added it to the second to the bottom when anyone leaves home. It will set the scene and this accessory. And that's it. And it's as simple as that. And that is the end of this week's episode, guys. I hope that was a good understanding of geofencing, how it works. It's very simple, uh, nothing special to it. And you don't need to make it complicated at all. If you do have any questions regarding geofencing or you're having trouble with it at work, again, you can message me in the comments. Me, I'd be glad to help you guys. I'm always uh, active on YouTube. And stay tuned, obviously, for future episodes. I do have, I have a lot of editing to get through. I honestly, I, I can't, I, I don't have a job right now. So I'm just utilizing my time in editing. I'm doing drone flying a lot. So you can check out everything. All my socials are in the description box down below. Uh, and again, all the affiliate links I have, it helps fund my YouTube channel. Like it doesn't cost you a thing. It's just the link. And then if you buy something from, from Amazon, then I get paid, I get a small commission from it. But there's no charge to you whatsoever and nothing is sponsored. This is out of my own pocket, I do this. And again, if you have anything specific with HomeKit, just put a comment down below and I will make that video. That is just, it's that easy. And I wanna thank all my recent subscribers recently. Like uh, this, me doing YouTube is actually testing to see if this works. And so far it's so good. So I do see my metrics and they keep going up. And I appreciate all my subscribers that are joining recently. So there's more videos to come. So thank you very much. And that is the end of this week's episode. My name is Demetrios. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, remember to give it a like as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for future content. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.